Hey guys. Um, so <clears throat> I got the four wheeler out right there, and it's very icy. So um, I think we're gonna be doing a little bit of sliding on the ice and just playing around doing some donuts in my driveway. So oh uh, yeah, let's do that right now. And I also have the weight of the plow in my advantage. So I could probably pop this thing in two-wheel drive and just rip donuts all day long. Um, I could probably do it in four-wheel drive too if I wanted to, but um, <clears throat> I was actually doing that a little bit last weekend in the slush. Oh, I was ripping donuts at the end of my driveway. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, this thing can be some fun when you put it in two-wheel on some ice. It works, does it pretty good and spins right around pretty good. drive I can hardly even move anywhere with it um, I'm literally just like sitting there spinning on the ice um I mean so I can move it but like plowing could not even close to do it do it without four-wheel drive like cuz sometimes with this thing it's a nice four-wheeler it's a 500 it's a pretty beast it's pretty big four-wheeler um so I mean it's got a fairly powerful engine Sometimes just plowing our driveway, I'll have the thing full throttle just trying to get up our driveway because it's like icy and um, the snow doesn't help. I mean, usually I can go pretty fast and uh, like make it up eventually, but sometimes it's kind of hard to do it. Um, do it like that. Um, by the way, while I'm talking about my four wheeler, so I'll just get you guys down here to the plow. So, I don't have very many complaints about this plow. It's, I don't even honestly know what it is. I got this thing from my uncle a long time ago with the plow. Um, so I honestly have no idea what kind of plow this is. Um, but this thing is actually really, um, it's like, it's really nice, but I don't kind of like it because um, here, I, I, when you, like if you look underneath it, I'll show you guys underneath it. Um, but when you look underneath it, this frame's like really low to the ground. So sometimes it's kind of hard because you'll bottom out really easily and get stuck. But, I mean, it lifts up fairly high. Here, I'll show you this. It lifts up higher than this. Yo, that's, how, that's how high it goes. I mean, that's pretty good for a four-wheeler plow. I mean, it comes up pretty good, and then obviously it turns side to side. Um, but, yeah, I mean... In the darkness, too, these lights are pretty bright for plowing. I mean, it's, I don't really have much complaints about this four-wheeler plowing-wise. I mean, and the thing's pretty fun, too. Over on my, because I kind of have two properties here. Well, kind of, because it kind of divides. Um, over, uh, over across the uh, brook over there, um, I have a, well, it's not mine, it's my parents, but it's another property that in last summer, me and my cousin just ripped the crap out of the lawn over there because my dad said he didn't really care that much. 
and we just had the same two wheel drive. We were just spinning it around and stuff. It was so much fun when it was really muddy. Um, I didn't film any of it or anything, but it was really fun. Actually, I don't, no, that wasn't last summer. That was the summer before that. So, I mean, that was quite a while ago. This past summer, I hardly even touched this thing. I just had it beside my tent, and I never touched it. And then I took it out and put the plow on it and put the thing back together one time because I obviously had to get it ready for winter. Um, then I put it back there again and sat there until I uh, come the um, morning when it started snowing out here. Is and then I um, uh, brought the, I had to jump the thing. Then I brought it out. I mean I haven't had troubles with the battery since, but it's just because it was sitting that the battery went dead. Um, but I mean, I did get a new battery once for this thing. Um, I got the same battery. It was one of the ones that you just have to fill up yourself with acid um, and then charge it. Which I mean, it's fairly. It works fairly good. It was really hard to get the battery out though, like and get it in, because like it's hard to get wrenches in there. Um, but yeah, this thing's pretty nice, and uh, we did have to take the gas tank off of it and clean it out because it's full of gunk. Um, it does need a new clutch cover. It's got holes in the clutch cover, but that's common with this type of four-wheeler. And I just haven't really had time or money to replace the clutch cover yet. Well, this is what the clutch cover looks like. It's got big holes in it, but I mean, it's and it's got duct tape on it. A few little holes there, but it's not that bad yet. Like it's fairly fine. And then um, that's the uh, ground clearance. It's probably about like. I don't know, maybe four inches or so, but with that off, I have quite a bit more ground clearance. I forgot last year, though, um, this little U-bolt right there, that did snap. I replaced it on that side, because, like, my plow was getting really wiggly, and I was like, what the heck, and then I figured out it was that, so I fixed it. Um, uh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, um, and if you notice, sometimes when I got, like, the about right here, um, about right here, and I was slowing way down, it's because there's, like, massive ruts in our driveway, um, there's, like, they're pretty big, and when you get caught in them, you don't slide very well, because, I mean, they're kind of rough, but this stuff's, like, really just icy, um, this is where my dad and brother park their, uh, trucks, so it'll get icy right here, because, um, nothing's really coming in and out of here. So, I mean, it just kind of gets icy. Um, so, yeah, that's what, that's kind of an update on the four-wheeler. Um, the thing's pretty decent. I don't mind it. Oh, yeah. And another, one more thing. Last year, um, I did lose, uh, I don't really remember what side it was. I think it might have been this side right here. But I lost that spring. Um on that side uh i found it in a snowbank later um later in the year but uh yeah i did find it eventually also um it's actually not too bad right here where i'm standing up by my tent it's fairly uh like good i mean this didn't really get driven on too much so and it had snow on it already so it didn't really um get affected by the uh um uh, ice like overcoming that came um but yeah that thing's pretty fun to play on I might actually just go back down there and do some more uh playing around I don't know because I mean it's it only it gets to a point where you just see somebody spinning a four-wheeler around it just it kind of gets boring I mean um I was almost thinking of trying to take it I wanted to I wanted to take it over on my other property but I really can't I can't right now. Um so my mom and dad aren't home yet so and I can't drive on the road cuz I got the cops called on me. Uh so I can't drive on the road. Um maybe I'll drive around my house or something. I don't know. Uh let's go see what the front of my house looks like. Okay, so right here there's like no snow but that's because I have plowed because, like, I, uh, and there's a snowbank right here, so I'd have to, like, go around the birch tree and get around that way. Um, I really don't know how deep the snow is, but I don't want to really get stuck because it'd be kind of hard to get out. I mean, it's not even that deep. I should be able to make it. I don't know. 
I guess if I get stuck in a lake for a good video, I guess, maybe. Probably not, though. Maybe. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just try it. Um, so the smell's fairly crunchy. Um, but, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens, like, maybe, um, over here, coming around the tree. Um, we'll just see what happens. Um, so, that made it around, like, way easier than I thought it would. Um, because, I mean, it, I thought it was deeper snow than that, but there's, like, not very much snow. Um, so, now, let's do first-person mode. Um, I was just ripping this thing around that path we made around my house, um, that goes, like, just around the house, and I was just having some fun going on it, because, I mean, I haven't really got to, like, actually just ride this thing in a while, so that was a fun thing to do. Um, then I tried doing it in two-wheel drive, and I made it around the house, like, three times in two-wheel drive, and then I stopped doing it to just come back on and tell you guys what I'm doing, and then... I was ripping around down at the bottom of my driveway again. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to have a bit of fun um, here. I should have plenty of gas. I did top it up with gas well, not that long ago, and I didn't really use it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, as far as I know right now, I'm still selling my uh, tractor, which is right over here to the side of you guys, um, I'm still selling that as far as I know, uh, on Saturday, um, which I'm just still fairly excited about to get some more money, obviously, towards the shed project, then I won't have to be out here in this cold, to be in there working on something, showing you guys the video about working on that or something, um, it is starting to get windy out, uh, um, it, it's, it has been just throwing little, spitting little snowflakes, uh, but it's still kind of doing that a little bit, um, but I think I'm just going to end this video right now, because, I mean, I'm not really doing any, much of anything else, um, uh, yeah, so, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys, uh, yeah, this thing is still running good, if you were wondering about the four-wheeler, um, uh, yeah, and it still, it still rips around pretty good. I was actually watching one of my old videos, and I was, I was gonna, I think I was ripping around over there, and I was like, um, what are we gonna call this? Ripping? I don't know, I just found it kind of funny. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next video.